Hey everybody, it's Nikki, and I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but I got a camera, so I should probably be a lot clearer now. I should also have much better audio according to the specs on this camera. So, thumbs up if it works, and thumbs down if it doesn't. We'll find out after I edit this video, and then camera will go back if it's not better quality. Kitty cats are walking into the room. So I have gone on a little bit of a shopping spree. Let's pretend it didn't happen, but I want to show you what I got. So I spent way too much money at Sephora. Um, I've bought, gone on like a few different sprees in the last couple, well the last couple weeks. So I want to show you what I got and what I think of it. I, I'm really excited. It was, you know, it was about time that I replaced all of my makeup. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I got. You come up here, cat. You get out of here. You're not even my cat. So, firstly, at Sephora, I got lots and lots, by lots I mean four, Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipsticks. Um, the first one I got was Vampira, or Vampira, however you say it. And that's like a dark wine burgundy color. As you can tell, I've already used it quite a bit. Um, I will swatch them all at the same time to show you what they look like, but this is Vampira. Um, for Vampira, I was really excited because I wanted to try a dark lipstick, and I really liked the color on me. Um, usually I find I'm way too pale to go for dark lipsticks, and I usually go with a, like a bright true red. So that was really exciting when I found that, and it actually kind of worked with my face. I did find, though, however, that unless I did a very good exfoliating, it went really, really bad. Yeah, the uh, the darker I find the lipstick, the harder it is to keep on, and if you have any dry skin on your lips, this lipstick will turn it black. So you definitely wanna use an exfoliating lip scrub before putting that on. I would also probably suggest a primer and bring Q-tips with you because you know, you wanna take it out of, just in case you go outside the lines, because it's a really dark color. So you can't really hide that all that well, but I do love the color and when I do get it to actually apply correctly, it is really nice. But for that dark of a color, I do find I have to reapply it quite frequently. Then I also got the color Lolita, which is this pretty, pretty dusty rose. I really like this color. I wear this color when I am like doing a more natural look and I don't want to be too, too bold. So if I'm wearing like bold clothing or if I'm just going for a really natural makeup look and I don't want to draw all of the attention to my lips, then I will wear Lolita, that nice dusty rose color. Then I also got the color Underage Red, which is just a very bright, true red. I absolutely love it. Um, it's just, you know, my staple in lipsticks. I always go for a bright, true red. You can't go wrong with it. And then I also got the color Countess, which I am wearing now, which is a red-orange, but it's more orange than red. And I really, really like this color. I find it goes really well with my hair, and I was actually expecting it to clash with my hair, because, you know, orange hair, orange lips might be a little bit much. I would also like to apologize that I keep looking in this direction. The front-facing viewfindery thing is over there. But yeah. This is the color Countess, um, so I'm just going to do a quick swatch and I'll show you what they all look like. Um, it may be just a touch off in the color because it is kind of really overcast outside right now, which is why my coloring is so crap. That's my hot water tank over there. The cat litter box is in there, so that's why that door is open. I don't know if I do swatches right. Don't know if I do swatches right. Don't know if I do swatches right. Do 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 do. So here are the swatches. This is Countess, which is the orange that I'm wearing on my face right now, which I think I'm also not wearing where it's supposed to be. And then there is the Underage Red, which is that bright true red. This is what Lolita looks like. It does come out a little bit darker and more natural on your actual lips because it's kind of like almost the same color as them. And then that is what Vampira looks like. So that's a really nice deep wine burgundy-ish berry color. I'm really not sure what to call it. I just know that I like it and that it's a pain in the butt to keep on my face. So that is the 
Kat Von D studded kiss lipsticks that I bought. And then nextly, um, for lipsticks as well, I got the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in, what color is this? Melted Berry? But it comes with like a sponge applicator. When I tried it on my hand, it looked really, really nice, but I already had this on my lips, um, so I didn't want to put take this off to put this on my face to try it but I almost wish that I had. I find with this, it doesn't stay on quite as well as I would like to, as well as it's more of a stain than a lipstick, but the stain doesn't last too long. Like I lick my lips a lot and the stain kind of wears off really quickly. And it's hard to apply with the sponge. I find I can't make like a good line. I end up going outside of the lines and where it's a stain, it stains my very pale skin. So it is just, you know, a bit of a pain. Um, but I do love the color, so it's almost worth all the trouble that I go through. That is the color of the Melted Berry in the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipstick. So it's this nice pretty berry color. It is really pretty, it's just hard to put on and I find I have to reapply it quite a bit. Um, but, you know, it's a nice color. I will probably keep this. Um, I very may well take it back though, it just I only tried it once to wear it on my face, so I'm probably going to give it a second shot, see what I think then. If I'm still not happy with it, then it's probably going to go back just because they're expensive. And then lastly, for lips, I got the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Liner, which I've already owned before and I had it in, uh, oh god, what is it called? The red color, whatever the red color is called. This time I got it in Electrified, and this I also did not try on my face, I just tried it on my hand, like so, and it is just another like deep wine color, and I was thinking I could wear it underneath the Vampira lipstick, but uh, this is going back, I'm pretty sure, not because I don't like the brand, because I've used it before, but with this where it's so dark, it doesn't go on evenly, it doesn't look right as well as the first time I used it. A good chunk of the tip broke off, so I lost like the whole first part of it. And just for like $20 for a lip liner, I don't really feel like I should have to lose a good chunk of it in order to, uh, to keep it, like to put it on, you shouldn't have to lose a chunk. So I'm going to probably take this back because I already lost like a dollar worth of the liner itself when it snapped. And then I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Auburn. And so this is just brow powder and I got it with a little bit of a red tinge because my hair I keep, you know, coppery color. And I really, really like this. I've tried a sample of it before in the brown and I really enjoyed it. So I was super excited to find it in an auburn color because I found my eyebrows were always way too dark for my hair and not red enough for my hair. Um, so I do find that it works really nice and looks quite natural on my eyebrows. And of course somebody's face is not done until they have their eyebrows on. So this is a huge staple and I've been using it for like, I think I got it three weeks ago and I have barely made a dent in it. I do find it has a little bit of fallout when you're putting it on, so you have to be careful. But it brushes right off really easy without smudging all over the place. So if you do get it on like your cheeks when you're putting it, oh my hair's a mess. When you're putting it into your eyebrows, you can just kind of like, Hoo -hoo, and it disappears. So I really, really like that. And then I also got the They're Real Benefit Mascara. I've used this before and I've always really enjoyed it. I've always gotten the sample sizes and I've used them until there's nothing left and then clean the brush and still use the brush to declumpify my other mascaras. So I don't know if you can really see but my eyelashes are super thick and like long and I quite, I quite like this mascara. I don't know if I got like an old tube or something because I am finding that this one's just a little bit clumpier than usual but it's nothing that I won't, oh, let's focus, focus. How do I focus this game? Ah, look at that, it's focused. But yeah, this is what the brush looks like. It's just a little bit clumpier at the end than I'm used to the sample sizes. It's just a really nice dark mascara that stays on. It doesn't flake. I find that I'm, my eyelashes are very much lengthened by this. 
and um, separated and everything like that. So I have no complaints about that, other than that, for some reason, this one is clumping just a touch. Then, for eyes as well, I also got the, oh, I got black all over my fingers. I got the Ico Liquid Eyeliner. That's where I draw the line. In carbon black? Is that what this is called? Anyways, I got a not an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner, because I needed a new one. See, that's where I draw the line. Let me show it. Come on, focus. Come on, camera. You can do it. Oh, look at it do it. I still got makeup all over my hand. But, um, yeah, I needed a liquid eyeliner, and I like black liquid eyeliners, and I'm very particular about fine lines. So I went, when I was at Sephora, I tried this out, and it came out, like, you can do, you can't do overly fine lines, I find, with it. Like, it, it immediately goes thick, which doesn't bother me too much, because... You know, I can manage, but it's so black, like it's so dark, and that excites me so much that it's so dark. I'm very impressed with this. It stays on all day and comes off easily with eye makeup remover, so I really have no complaints about this other than I can't figure out how to get a very thin line with it. I keep doing chunky lines, um, such as today, like that's much chunkier than I usually do, and it's because I keep trying to make fine lines, and then I mess up. And then I have to make it thicker to, you know, fix the mess up because nobody wants to take off all of their makeup to redo their eyeliner. And then I also bought the Tarte Rainforest After Dark Color Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. And this I was really excited for because I want to try bronzer. I've never worn bronzer before, but I didn't want to buy a full bronzer and then find out, hey, I can't do bronzer. It also has a highlighter, which I'm really excited about. That's powder, because I wanted to do powder highlighter. It comes with a blush. So yeah, there's bronzer, no, highlighter. Now, what is the highlighter called? I don't know, there's a highlighter. There's a bronzer, which is Park Avenue Princess. It comes with a blush. I'm excited about the blush, because I, I love blush. I have been wearing it every day. I've been trying bronzer. I can't figure bronzer out. I feel like it makes my face look dirty, but I love the highlighter. And then it also comes with six pretty eyeshadows. There's like a pale lilac, and then a, like a darker lilac, and then a plum, and then a gold, and then a taupe, and then a brown. So I like these. I've used everything in it, I think. No, I haven't touched the taupe. Not a fan of taupe, I guess. So I am quite pleased with this so far. I just need to figure out how to put bronzer onto my face without looking like a dirt bag. And then for eyeshadow, and this is the last makeup product that I bought, I got the Naked Urban Decay palette, which has all of these beautiful colors in it. There's uh, the names of them just make me giggle. Uh, Virgin, which I use for a highlight. Um, under my brows every day. Sin, which I tend to use on my inner corners almost every day, but I also use it all over my eye or eyelids sometimes. Naked, which I haven't touched, which because it's I think it's because it's a matte. I like shimmery eyeshadows, matte lipstick, and then there's Sidecar, which I sometimes use on the lid, or if I'm using Sin on my lid, I'll use Sidecar on the outer corner. Um, there's Buck, which I also haven't used. Half-baked, which I do the same thing. I tend to do a full lid with half-baked. Smog, I tend to go in the crease. As well as Toasted and Hustle, I go in the crease. I've used Dark Horse once in the crease. I haven't touched Creep or Gunmetal. I find Creep, well, Creep is black. So it's, um, it's a bit darker than I'm used to. And then Gunmetal is still a bit darker than I'm used to. So those will probably be something that I wear on, like, a bar night. So this is what they are, there is uh, Virgin Sin Naked Sidecar I can't see what that one says Buck, Half Baked Smog, Dark Horse Toasted Hustle, Creep and Gunmetal and it comes with a nice little brush, I like the brush it's nice and soft, look at all that eyeshadow coming off of it, woo so yeah, I've been using this almost every day um, the only time I don't use this is when I'm using the eyeshadows from this, and half the time I'm mixing them anyways. So these have been getting a lot of use since I got them. I do not regret buying them, and I really like them. And all of my other eyeshadows, my old ones, were falling apart, so I definitely needed to get new ones.
And then I got some bath stuff. I got the fresh sea berry exfoliating soap. Um, just because I have ketosis polaris, so I get little like chickeny bumps on my arms. So I bought this for exfoliating. So I wash my arms with it. I still got makeup. <laughs> I wash my arms with it and then I just go over with my regular soap. But it has like a really nice texture to it. It gives you that exfoliating feeling without like the itching and the ouchy. Um, and the smell of it is like fantastic. It smells like, um, like, it smells like a really nice hotel soap. Does anybody else like that smell or is it just me? But it smells like a really, really, really nice hotel soap. And then, last but not least, I also got the Fresh Seaberry Restorative Cream. Now this, I find, doesn't smell quite as good as the soap. I find it has like almost a cinnamon, cinnamon, it almost has a cinnamon smell. Cinnamon? It smells kind of cinnamon, like cinnamon, like cinnamon, cinnamon. I got it. So it smells like cinnamon. Um, it smells like the soap and you threw cinnamon in with it. So it is a little bit of a stronger smell. Um, I'm not as huge a fan of the smell of this, but it has definitely been helping between the exfoliating burr and this cream with my ketosis. My skin has definitely been acting better. I'm not noticing as many bumps that look like little pimply things all over me. Um, and my skin is so soft. And after the cinnamon smell fades away, I smell awesome all day so that is what I have bought at Sephora in the last like couple weeks month and a half don't judge me I spent too much money and I know it so if you liked this video you can subscribe down below you can also find me online at magicalnerdriot.ca which is my blog and on social media at Facebook Twitter Instagram and Pinterest I'm also on Vine sometimes at the same username, Magical Nerd Riot. If there's anything that you would like me to review or would like to see, definitely give me some recommendations. I am definitely looking for different videos that I can make. How do I turn this off?